first thing you want to do is turn off the power to the input. So there's a switch on the side here. Turn that off, you'll see the blue light go out here. Then you want to go into settings on your iPad. Make sure you've got Bluetooth turned on. Where you see the start input, click the I and then click forget this device. Forget start input, OK. And that will remove it from the devices. And you want to turn your iPad off. So hold down the power button and then slide to power Okay, off. so once you've hit the forget the device on your iPad, you've turned the power off for the iPad, you're going to turn your attention now to the end pop. You're going to open the printer, make sure there's paper in the printer, close it, it'll do a little feed, and that means it's good. You should just have the blue light on on the end pop. Then you're going to find the reset button, which on the end pop is that little button right there. It's going to use a paper clip or something like that, like I've got here. You're going to want to turn the power off on the end pop, which is somewhere under here. There we go. Turn the power off there. You're going to want to hold the reset button in like that. You'll feel it give a little click. And then turn the switch on for the end pop. We're looking, keep the paper clip pushed in until you get that, until they both start flashing. Take the paper clip out, set the end pop like that, wait for them to finish flashing, and the power light will come on once it's finished doing its reset procedure. Just wait for those to flash, there we go, and it'll print a couple of lines like that, just to make sure it's ready to go. Next thing you want to do, get your iPad turned back on, hold down the power until you get the Apple sign. It thinks about powering up. Until it eventually gets there. There we go, come on now. Okay, you want to enter your passcode. You're going to go into settings, go into Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is on. Let it scan through and find the end pop. You're going to click the end pop until it comes up as connected. Then you'll be able to go into your Shopify pause. Enter your Shopify pin. Go into store. Go into hardware. And you should see your start end pop connected there and ready to go. You can click on it, do a test receipt, and test the cash draw. You may also want to set it as the default receipt printer, if it's the only device that you're using. Cool, give that a try and let me know any issues.